to the San Francisco Giants. My name is Sean Chapin, and I am a native San Franciscan, avid Giants fan, and openly gay man for the last 17 years. I am reaching out to you in hopes that the San Francisco Giants considers producing an It Gets Better video for the It Gets Better project to tell our LGBT youth that they are loved and welcome everywhere, including in the professional sporting world. I still remember the moment when I was 13 years old, when Will Clark delivered a bases loaded single in the bottom of the eighth inning against the Chicago Cubs during the 1989 National Championship League Series. And a half inning later, when a ground ball was hit to second baseman Robbie Thompson, who then threw it to Will Clark at first, who then immediately stretched his arms up in the air. We had just realized our first ever Bay Bridge World Series, which was such an exhilarating moment in my life that I screamed and jumped up and down for what seemed like minutes. It was a joyous moment that had only been recently matched by the moment when the Giants became World Series champions last year. And every single one of us at the predominantly gay mix bar in the heart of the Castro screamed and jumped up and down for minutes in nothing but pure elation, rapture, and joy when Brian Wilson struck out the last batter of the Texas Rangers and sealed the history-making fate of our beloved city. Sports is a mighty powerful thing because it unites us all and makes us feel like we are a part of something greater than all of us. During my adult life, I have played for the San Francisco Fog Rugby Football Club and the San Francisco Gold Diggers Men's Ice Hockey Club, both predominantly gay amateur sports teams, and there is no other feeling in the world like the feeling that we can authentically share in the exciting journey that every sports team experiences as no one else but who we are unconditionally. My years with the Fog and the Gold Diggers are years that I cherish deeply. They were experiences that I was unable to realize until after I came out as gay, graduated high school, and sought out gay-identifying adult sports teams. And though I am grateful for these wonderful experiences, sometimes I wish that I didn't have to wait beyond high school to have them. LGBT acceptance in America has gotten a lot better since I went to high school, but there is a lot of work to do before all of us can say that we are equal and free with respect to our sexual orientation and gender identity. As you are aware, Kobe Bryant was reported on camera saying a homophobic slur to a ref during an NBA basketball game. As an advocate for LGBT equality, I brought Kobe's action to light in a YouTube video, and the general reaction that I received in my YouTube video was astonishingly homophobic, profane, and hateful. It illustrated to me the strong homophobia within the male professional team sports world, and possibly the most telling sign of this strong homophobia is that there is not a single professional player among the NBA, NFL, and Major League Baseball who is openly LGBT. The real damage behind Kobe Bryant's homophobic slur is not that he said it, but because his action enables and encourages millions to continue harassing our youth. And therefore, what Kobe has done can prove to be very dangerous. A straight mother commented on my YouTube video that all of her work towards helping her son accept LGBT people went out the window after Kobe's anti-gay slur because Kobe knew more than mom. I applaud the NBA for fining Kobe Bryant $100,000 for his actions. But I believe that the best solution is for Kobe to directly publicly address the NBA fans and sports world, either live or on video and tell everyone that he owns and takes responsibility for his action, says that he was wrong in doing it, explains why he was wrong, and gives a message that we must treat everybody with dignity and respect no matter who we are. To this point, we have not seen Kobe Bryant give this level of response. And I harbor a grave concern that the average NBA fan who has seen Kobe say the homophobic slur may think that it's okay to do that even though they really don't mean what they say, missing the important point that words matter and therefore, LGBT fans, and especially LGBT youth fans, may feel less empowered to be themselves and miss out in the true enjoyment of the NBA, NFL, and Major League Baseball that others take for granted. And frankly, that is putting it euphemistically. I believe that now more than ever is an opportune time for someone or some team in the male American professional sports world to take an historic, proactive approach in connecting to the LGBT community. Something profound has already happened earlier this month in Brazil where a volleyball team and the team's fans responded to homophobic slurs directed at one of the team's players who came out as gay shortly afterward by standing in solidarity with him as the team wore pink warm-up shirts and the crowd used thundersticks emblazoned with the gay player's name to turn the stadium pink. If something like this could happen in Brazil, then this could also happen in America. And I can't imagine a better, more accepting and culturally diverse city for something like this to happen than in San Francisco. So it would be a dream to see a Major League Baseball player come out and show the world who we are and for the player's team and city to rally behind him in solidarity 
and transform their baseball stadium accordingly. There is something that the San Francisco Giants can do right now that I know in my heart would be supported by its city with open arms. During this past year, the It Gets Better project was created to reach out to LGBT youth who find themselves in despair and consider ending their lives. The project was born in September 2010, at a time when the string of LGBT teen suicides was making the news, one by one, as a new school year was commencing. And the project has since taken off and become a defining moment for LGBT acceptance and equality as countless ordinary people, celebrities, organizations, and politicians, including our United States President, have participated in the project. Many lives have been saved from over 10,000 videos spreading the message that it gets better, and the project's momentum is still going strong well over a half year later, with an awe-inspiring video as recently as this past week from the employees of Apple that brought me to tears. Yet no professional sports team or active professional sports team players from the MLB, NBA, or NFL have contributed to this project. I believe that the San Francisco Giants are in an optimal position to take a lead role for Major League Baseball and American sports in general and could possibly make the most definitive It Gets Better video yet that we have ever seen. The San Francisco Giants are recent world champions, are comprised of many different players who come together and form a whole far bigger than their sum and are from a city that wholeheartedly celebrates our diversity and differences. Should the team make a video, I believe that the Giants would catalyze an historical and watershed moment in professional sports and forever be revered as true Giants in humanity. I implore you to make this video. Our kids need your help.